we've created a new category of functional water. So we've uh, stumbled into this recipe where the ozone that's used to bottle water already uh, can be harnessed by quartz. Uh, so every bottle of water has to be ozonated to make sure that it's safe to drink. And that ozone is a very charged particle. Uh, so it reacts with whatever's around it. And that's how it disinfects things. Uh, but when that ozonated water comes in contact with quartz, the electric potential energy in the water makes the quartz hum. Uh, and so quartz is piezoelectric. That's why it's in electronics, uh, because you can pass an electrical current through it and make it vibrate in a very specific way. And that's what makes your watch go. And that's what makes record players work. And our microphones. My electrical exactly. Now. So yeah. when, when you are putting the water through the ozone, right, which kind of breaks it up and then you're adding the quartz back into it and you're saying there's a hum, is there like an intense pressure that the water is being moved over the quartz? Um, and it, I'm sorry if I'm stuck, we can edit this. <laughs> and no, we no, don't, that's fine. We don't need to say anything. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I mean, we have a patent that is, uh, that we're hoping will be granted, but we did experiments with a lot of different concentrations of ozone and uh, the, when you talk about pressure, the thing that we varied was the flow rate, how fast that water is flowing through the chamber. Uh, and it seems that both of them affect the outcome. And so we kind of found a sweet spot that works best. And um, we have identified some really unusual things about water that we want wets us to study further. So we, we started with our in-house research and we kind of passed it on to them. And they have our instrument now and they have uh, started to compare, for example, you know, natural quartz versus synthetic tumbled stones, uh, singly terminated versus uh, highly included. And then, you know, when we understand better whether there are different properties of quartz that affect the process, then we can start looking at other crystals. Uh, so this is a really interesting subject. And uh, at first, so I'm the only medical doctor in the group. Everyone else is kind of a hardcore scientist, uh, engineers, uh, chemical yes. engineers. Uh, and they, they really are happy to have me there because our work is it came from uh, everyone's shared interest in Victor Schauberger. Okay. 